Well, hello everyone, Dylan here, happy Throwback Thursday, and the rotation leads us to a Harry Potter review, and today's of which is on Hagrid's Hut from 2004, second version of which. So we'll start off with the minifigs, of course. So, of which on the left we have Hagrid, or Ruby's Hagrid, of course, of which got the printing of which same kind of similar to the earlier versions from uh, 2001 and 2 obviously and same with the beard piece but and of course same face print but it, it but of course at this time they started doing a uh, regular skin colored minifigs obviously so of course a little bit different this time around but besides that, everything else kind of the same, which carried on until 2011, of course, and holding a golden key for it. And the other big of which on the right is Hermione Granger, of which, which everything kind of similar to the uh, 2001 and 2 versions, but in, but instead is in a, a skin color rather than the traditional yellow, of course. And of what's exclusive to this fig is with the time necklace, which in the film she and Harry used to go back in time with. And of course has the gray bar piece for a wand, at least until they did actual wands in 2018 and present. And then, but unfortunately, no double side face, no back torso print on either. Since, of course, they're a pair of older figs, obviously. And now, on to Haggard's Hut itself. Oh, which, a uh, quite good build for the time, obviously. And, of course, similar to the 2010 version, well, minus a couple of features. There's, and you see some similar detailing, like for the front door, obviously, and just like the other, uh, or like the 2001 version and other versions, does have the sand green roof pieces, probably to represent moss around it, and also have these corner sections with bricks printing on it, kind of nice, which you can definitely use with some custom castles and stuff. And if turn this open which shows the fireplace section and also if you pull down and it has the classic book piece there oh, hang on. of course a couple of fires but this time around no sign of Norbert of course and then other side of which, which does have a barrel with a shovel and pickaxe in it. And also yet another door used as the back door. And some like rigiding kind of bricks for whatever reason. And then other side of which does have the classic window pieces. And also if you get a smallish version of the pumpkin patch with a couple of the classic leaf pieces and mini fig heads in orange, but at least until they did actual pumpkin pieces with the 2019 version. And also, this one feature that is just about like the 2004 version, or 2010 versions, where Swill was open, and it's just kind of halfway there. Although, still similar to that of the 2001 version, but to a lesser extent. But let me get some lighting in there. You can see the fireplace from before, a little rack piece, and a little rack there holding a crossbow and a axe of some kind, and also a cauldron with a, a yellow ladle and a couple of potions behind, and also black or bat piece in gray, and a couple of yellow cylinders acting as a lantern. And then for the other side of which, as you see, a little table made with those rigid type bricks and also a plate, a pair of mugs and a cup and Belleville plate. 
and not much of anything for that. But whatever. Uh, then of course with the two later versions did have light brick, obviously, which this and the first version didn't. But that's all right. And from the outside, which although the 2010 version pretty much kind of the, similar or just about the same as this one, but with some slight modifications and a light brick, of course. First video. And so now on to the final verdict. So for my overall verdict on this set is this I think a, a pretty good set or for its time and also good version of it of what it's representing. But at least until the 2019 version is probably the best version since it represents it the best and comes with black beak obviously. Although but also I do think Aragog or Buckbeak also could have been included with this set, but or maybe or unless if you had Draco's encounter with Buckbeak set to go right next to it, as uh, suiting to that of Prisoner of Azkaban, obviously. And in Figs of which I think they also could have included a uh, young Harry as well as suiting to some of the scenes in this film. But also kind of odd, interesting how there was some bits of brown pieces to it, but probably to differentiate from the other versions, but yeah. But also the rooftops I think also could have been mixed with some dark gray as well, since it does have some dark gray in the films. And so now if you're looking to, so if you had this set from back in the day, well, I hope you had some good memories of it, and for those of you who haven't and still have access to this set, I'd say definitely get it. eBay Bricklink, whatever. And that's about it with this video. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.